Hi, welcome to another video from Ian's Garage. Uh, today I'm in this Volvo XC90 that I've just acquired. Uh, this is the first of three short videos I'm going to do on this Volvo. This one is a DIY uh, stone chip repair in the windscreen. There's quite a big stone chip in this one which will crack sooner or later. So rather than paying for a new windscreen or paying the insurance excess on one, I'm going to do a DIY repair which is very cheap and very easy. Uh, the second video will be uploaded shortly after this one is uh, deep scratch repair on the bodywork. This has been scraped on the side by the previous driver, it's got some deep scratches, but there's a cheap and easy way to repair that. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a good job for, for, for just a few pounds. And the third video will just be my kind of personal opinion, review of whether or not you should buy a Volvo XC90. Even if I didn't mention that this was a, a Volvo I was doing the windscreen repair on, you'd have guessed if you'd have seen this, it's got the Volvo driver's obligatory National Trust membership sticker in the windscreen. What is it with Volvo drivers and the National Trust? I wouldn't be surprised if I find a few hearing aids and pairs of reading glasses down the seats as well. I can see the appeal of uh, Volvos to elderly couples. Um, the, a man can drive home from hospital in relative comfort following his, his hip and knee replacement. And it's also nice and high up this XC90, so when he picks his wife up from the hair salon every Wednesday after a blue rinse, it's easy for her to get in and out. Blue rinse day was Monday, by the way, but he actually only remembered on Wednesday that he dropped off at the salon. Uh, but at least you can get in in comfort and uh, drive home with some nice heated leather seats. Back to the windscreen repair. I've got this uh, rather large stone chip here in the glass. Uh, it's not yet cracked, but it will do soon. I'll get some cold weather or I'll go over a bump too hard and that'll probably crack. I don't think it's an MOT failure where it is because it's not in direct view of the driver. But it'll definitely crack sooner or later and then it would be an MOT fail. The new screen would be quite expensive. I think this one's got a heated screen, so it's probably three or four hundred quid for a new windscreen. And even if I did it on the insurance, the excess is probably ninety or hundred quid anyway. So I bought this uh, very cheap windscreen repair kit, it's fifteen pounds in the in the car spare shop. You can get these for about eight or nine quid online, but I just picked this up for convenience locally for for fifteen pounds, and I'll show you how easy it is to repair the stone chip. So this is what comes in the repair kit. Um, I've got a razor blade. I'll show you what that's for in a moment. I've got these suction pads. Uh, this goes on the outside of the windscreen with the centre hole directly over the, the chip in the windscreen. Get this resin that sets hard, these curing strips that are, are put on temporarily and removed after it's set, and this which screws into the top of there and pushes the resin into the crack. Here's the, crack, here's the chip from the outside. Use the razor blade first to scrape away any excess shards of glass that are on there, make sure that's smooth. Only on the on the actual crack itself, otherwise you scratch the rest of the glass that's not damaged. Then just wipe the area clean. Smooth now, there's no excess glass on there, no shards of glass. Right, I've placed these four suction pads there. The, the, chip is directly under here in the middle of here and I've cut the top off this resin. Right, and I've squeezed about five or six drops of this resin through the centre, it's gone onto the into the chip on the windscreen and then this has been tightened, you turn it clockwise and it's tightened so it's putting pressure on the resin and pushing it into, into the chip and into any cracks in there and you leave that for three or four minutes to set. There are a few drips of resin that's come out here but that'll just scrape off with a razor blade afterwards when it's set. So we'll leave that for a few minutes. There it is from the inside. Uh, that resin's just running into the cracks now. I've got the pressure on with that uh, like plastic bolt I've screwed down. And that's going to stay there to set for, for four or five minutes. Right, a few minutes have passed. I've removed the suction pads and taken the pressure off with that plastic bolt. And I've just placed over it one of these plastic curing strips um, that just stays there, it doesn't stick, it just, it just places on top and then I need to pack the car in, in, in either warm or direct sunlight and leave it to set properly now for another another five or six minutes. Right, so I'm packed in sunlight for five or ten minutes now while that sets and then I'll remove that, that see-through um, curing strip and I'll use the razor blade once more then just to remove any, any dry residue from there. In the meantime, I'll show you what this next video is going to be for the deep scratch repair on this same car. So there's the scratches on this car. They are quite deep, but they haven't dented the bodywork, so no bodywork needs pulling out, but they are deep scratches. 
and there'll be a separate video shortly after this one just show you how I repair that as like I said before it was not going to be a perfect job but this is a this car's quite a few years old now and it's going to be a very good job for just a few pounds this is just before I use the razor blade to remove all the dry resin now I've removed that curing strip uh, it does look a bit of a mess there you can see though how all the resin has got into the cracks around the chip and it's set hard so all I'm going to do now is get the razor blade remove any excess and hopefully that should be that stone chip repaired final part of the job you remove any excess residue and hopefully that should be this job done and now I've finished from the inside the stone chip is still clearly visible but I can't, I don't know if you can tell on camera, I can see how all those cracks and the initial kind of hole in the middle where a stone or something hit, something has hit it has been filled so I think that's solid now and it's, the stone chip's there but it's not like it was and I, think that, I don't think that'll crack, I think that's quite safe now. So thanks for watching and if you would like to see the bodywork deep scratch repair on this Volvo then uh, please do subscribe, thank you.